we consider cancer a disease of aging, right? It used to be that. So I'm, I'm, you know, been in the business a little longer than you have. And it was always, you know, 60, 70, 80 year olds with cancer. But look at our breast cancer population, even our That's lung true. cancer, our GBM population. They're all young now. What What is going on? And I will challenge the idea, is it age or is it actually insulin resistance? And insulin resistance is such a slow, you know, evolving, progressive spectrum. The longer you live, the more insulin resistant you become unless you are doing things to prevent that. And as our food environment has changed into a more processed food, higher sugar laden type, everything is processed and, and in bad oils, which we could go into too. But those are all things that that can um, increase our risk of cancer. And again, I see it happening younger and younger and younger. So it's very scary. And I'm like, please, everybody, like, I just want to scream from the mountaintops, like, can everybody just start doing this now and prevent your cancer. So just in my own patient experience, you know, I've seen various people for various reasons, but I have seen like the even precancers, things that we would normally want to take out, a ductal carcinoma in situ, a colonic polyp. And I've had some patients who have opted, I'm not sure I want to take it out. Let me just think about that. Let me do yeah. other things and then I'll consider it. If I and they're gone. We can't find them anymore. Um, I have seen people who even had very advanced, uh, you know, stage four breast cancers or or fungating lesions, uh, you know, like skin lesions that have come through the the skin surface, where already before they have embarked on their conventional therapy because they found me early, we started a process, and while they were still getting either evaluated, staged, approved for whatever therapy, they're already seeing reduction in size.